If this video reaches 1,000 likes, we'll be giving away two FR t-shirts from the Maliminous store, including the rare rarity and daring do variants. What is up Pony Nation, it's me Faith from Maliminous here with another Pony Theory for all of you guys. This and this one is talking about Best Princess, Princess Luna, because let's face it, I've already done videos to death on Princess Celestia, Twilight is really the same thing as Cadence, because there is such thing as plutonic love and she doesn't specify between romantic and plutonic so Cadence's job kind of encompasses Twilight. But that aside, we're gonna talk about Princess Luna, Princess of the Night, Princess of Dreams, the controller of the moon, and someone who went completely batty. So if you guys have seen the show, which I'm assuming you have, the first episode details the events that took place that made Nightmare Moon be banished to the moon for a thousand years. Her reign was considered to be folklore. It seems that most of the townspeople and most of the people in Equestra didn't actually remember Nightmare Moon. Now, here's an interesting part. How do you not remember another deity, someone who controls the moon? How did that just start slipping people's minds? I realize a thousand years is a long time, but when you see the other sister, how come no one questions that? There's a lot of things that just don't make any sense, but allow me to give you reasons as to not only why people don't remember Nightmare Moon, but why people had such a big deal with her just increasing the time of night. Because let's face it, in modern times, a lot of people don't just go to bed when the sun goes down. We stay up a lot. There's a thriving nightlife, sure. Back then, people may have been tired, they were working the fields, they don't have the same luxuries as we do. But even back in our history's time, people didn't just sleep straight through the night. In fact, people would wake up in the middle of the night to visit neighbors. There would be kind of like two sleep cycles. Now, bear with me, because there's gonna have to be a lot of pooling and stretching involved in this one. But I think by the end of it, you guys will see why I'm saying what I'm saying. The reason why Nightmare Moon happened at all was because of Discord. So picture it like this. The two sisters take power because of the defeat of Discord. Discord had reigned for a long time, creating chaos, and we've seen what Discord does. Chocolate rain, pink clouds, a constantly shifting day and night cycle. Discord's reign was, and essentially is, chaos. That's what he is, the, the god of chaos, so why wouldn't he rule a chaotic land? You see, obviously the pony survived. They had to weather through that. It probably wasn't a fun period of time. And when the princesses took over, it represented a period of stability, something that they could latch onto. They could finally have some semblance of normality in their life. And what's that thing that everyone always talks about? I know one thing, the sun will rise tomorrow. Well. Now they can finally count on that. Discord wasn't just going to randomly decide the sun won't be up today, or switch between the sun and the moon every couple of seconds. They had something that they could latch onto and say, I know one thing, the sun will rise tomorrow. Going out at night, if there were long periods of night, would probably be dangerous because this is before the princesses tamed the creatures in the Everfree or anything like that. They learned long ago that you don't go out at night. So the night represented something that they didn't know, something that was to be feared. All your nightmares lie there. So while increasing the night might this seem a like a harmless doctor. gesture, after being exposed to such extreme chaos, finally finding stability in just something as simple as a day and night cycle, having that be threatened would probably result in a violent backlash. Hence why Luna just felt so unappreciated. No one wanted to go out at night because they were scared, and everyone wanted the sun to come up because it represented a new beginning, hope. It's no wonder that they loved Celestia more than her. Yes, today we have kids all over the place that love the night, who want to be moody, who want to be gothic, and embrace everything dark. But back then, after having such a long period of that, I'm sure those types of people would be far and few in between. 
So that's why she became Nightmare Moon. But why doesn't anyone remember her? I mean, we see the battle. It wasn't exactly a subtle one. The castle was destroyed. And we have to assume that there was more fighting than just that. So why would Nightmare Moon be forgotten? Well, have you ever considered this? Nightmare Moon had an extreme blemish on her reputation. And Celestia still loved her. But do you think if she came back 10 years later, 20 years later, that she would just be forgiven of her crimes? Even a thousand years later, Nightmare Moon was still a thing. She was still in control of Luna. The jealousy, the hatred, whether or not you take the comic sense of her being possessed or not, it, it doesn't matter. The damage is done. The terrible deeds she committed, the countless lives she's probably taken, those actions have consequences. So what can a loving sister do to ensure that when her sister comes back, that she's treated at least somewhat fairly, somewhat nicely, is to make the actions of Nightmare Moon as far away from the people's minds as possible. There's a dissociation between Nightmare Moon and Luna because people inherently think of Nightmare Moon as a legend. They don't associate those actions as being real. And when someone brings up a particularly violent act that she has committed, they could say it was simply a story. Celestia is probably the one that started making people believe, through some sort of means, that Nightmare Moon was a legend, erasing all kinds of marks of her sister. So maybe that's why people don't remember Luna. And maybe that's why they reacted so violently when all she wanted to do was extend the night. But that's just what I'm thinking. You guys could tell me that I'm wrong or you could agree with me. Whichever way you guys swing, let me know down in the comments. I've been Faith Thermoluminous. Thank you for watching.